would probably live here. <laughs> and it's the first time I've actually ever like written some, some stuff down for a speech that like, I kicked up my Aww. head. But, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, I, w I wanted to have something prepared. I even got the, the uh, neon pink <laughs> cards. So I feel, I feel like uh, hopefully it's not too long for you all, so I'll try, try to speed it up. So some of you know that um, JoJo is, is what we used to call Josie back in the day. Her name was Jojo, so I'm going to preface that with this. So, Jojo and I, um, some of you may know that we, we refer to each other as brother and sister. And we've been close for a really long time, since um, well, I was seven, I think you were five, when we first met. Um, and we, we got together with, with this friendship that was just really closer than, than most friends. And we would just we would spend hours playing outside together, using our imaginations to conjure up all kinds of games and scenarios. You know, doing imaginary shit that kids do. Um, and it was I have some really fond memories of the time that we spent together. Um, probably the fondest of my childhood. Um, we would also spend hours playing Sega on the top <laughs> <laughs> on her top bunk in in, uh, in her father's house. Russ's house, and uh, um, I remember beating the crap out of her in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember that cuss. But my, my favorite games were the games that got to be on a team, where we would do things together as, as, as you know, our teams. It, that was my favorite memory of playing video games with her. Um, Streets of Rage was one. Yes. <laughs> That's the thing about, about Jojo is that she is so charismatic and her disposition is so endearing that it makes one want to be on her team. Uh, throughout the years, we've been friends, working through the trials of high school and beyond together. Um, I've always wanted to be on her team. I feel, like I, I feel like we have gone through a lot of that together. Um, I'm not really sure when, when we started to consider each other family. My father and her mother had been together for about 20 years, you know, since about 1995. Um, but that wasn't the beginning of, of, of that relationship. It wasn't the beginning of that relationship where we considered each other family. My only thought on this is that we made it to a point where we had been through enough together, put each other through so much still, and come up with the same answer. And that answer was love. We have the bond of love and support that only being family could explain. Joe, in my opinion, hasn't had the best choice of men. <laughs> Drink up. <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> I've barely been able to tolerate. And most of them I downright despise. <laughs> Yet just like family, I have respected her decisions. And I try to support her the best I could. I believe her. I'm on her team. Even if she goes for emo boys. <laughs> With body piercings, tats, and the arts degrees. <laughs> I thought he would never last. <laughs> I could tell he was intelligent and had a sensitive soul, and he had love and respect for Josephine. And this all earns my deepest respect. Through the years, I have watched them grow together, through the good times and the bad. And I have appreciated their struggles. They've been flexible with each other worked with compromise, and encouraged each other to pursue their dreams. I look at the couple in front of me, and I see family, because the only answer that I have for them is love. I am on their side, and I am on their team.
Sarah. Great. <laughs>